So guys, last year we did our food haul and everyone loved it. Everyone's a very nosy mum. Yeah, so, I don't understand why you guys are so interested in what we do. <laughs> but you guys even requested, they liked it so much, they requested it again. Oh no. So we're going to show you our Christmas food shop from M&S and Tesco's. Yeah, no judgement please. <laughs> So hey guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel. We've got Mummy Wend here as well. Um, yeah, you guys like to see what we buy? <laughs> so here it is. Um, we all, oh, I think everyone goes overboard at Christmas. We just bought all of our favourite things and some. Yeah, um, we won't be going shopping for at least a fortnight. Yeah, so we're going to start with the M&S stuff first and then we'll do Tesco's. Okay. So first up is the biggie. The biggie. We have got this turkey. Do you want to read it? It's a British stuffed oakum turkey crown on the bone. On the bone. And this apparently will feed eight to nine. We like to get a bigger turkey than um, we need because we like leftovers. Mm. We have Boxing Day cold cuts and we also have sandwiches. Um, so that should be enough. It's quite a long turkey. Yeah, I was a bit disappointed. I thought it looked a bit small for eight to nine people. But hey, you know, they're talking about that just for But lunch, I feel like they? it's... Long. I think it'd be fine. Yeah. It looks bigger than And we got plenty of food. We ain't gonna We're not we gonna, gonna starve, starve, are we? But it was quite Well it's it's M and S man. Yeah, it's, it's a and it's a is it a bronze one? I don't even think no. it's a bronze, it's an oakum. An oakum, well whatever that is. Yeah. Who then knows? we also got two trifles. We got a <laughs> sherry trifle. My dad loves trifle. Yeah, he'll he just does. Mm -hmm. he'll consume both of these, so <laughs> We got a sherry trifle because that's got like the fruit, co classic fruit cocktail. This serves, I think it serves one. eight people. <laughs> Becky, it's going to serve one. Yeah, it's going to serve dad. Yeah. And then we also, but I will say some of the, the, the dates weren't good, were they, Mum? It's the 22nd today. Mm. And most of so many things we wanted had the Christmas date of Christmas Eve, 24th. Mm. Mm. So no it was a bit disappointing. Um, so we ended up, rather than getting the strawberry trifle, we got the best ever trifle because that had a better date. And that's got your strawberry, like mega custard, mega cream. Um, mm. And that's a strawberry and raspberry and strawberry compote. Mm. And they, they didn't do too bad in travel either. Yeah. We also got some eggs <laughs> do you know you need to have enough eggs because i'm going to be making a chocolate roulade this oh, afternoon right? well, which then. takes oh, god I, I don't know how many eggs now six or eight eggs um and then well, I've got scrambled egg for breakfast on christmas morning Oh, you just need eggs, don't you? You know, and I hate running out, and I don't want to just go out and buy eggs. I want to go out and make the shopping worthwhile. So uh, there we go. We've Another got bag's some come over. Mortadella. We love mortadella, especially the, me Bill and Dad. Loves, yeah, yeah. That was requested by Bill. Uh, we got some British. Are they English? They can't be English. No, stories. they're not English. Egypt. Yeah, that'd be fine because lots of places do make sure quality, that they're nice. Yeah. Quality produce. Yeah. I must admit, I did buy some Dyson yeah, strawberries. you told me about them. Is there yeah. any left or have you eaten them all? I'm afraid I've eaten them. You've eaten all think, of yeah, them? I have. It was only a small packet. But Dyson has created all this machinery to bring on strawberries in this country so that we don't all have to import. Round. And I think that's pretty clever. Depends on how much electricity that machinery uses, though. Greenhouse emissions. Well, I don't know. Anyway. But anyway, yeah. um, we are having curry tonight. It's always hard to work out what to have before Christmas Day. Mm, mm. Um, so we're having a curry. Best ever tikka masala. This was in the curry meal deal. So we yeah. thought, well, we'd get... You know, as you do, you get the most expensive things in the meal deal. So <laughs> I would have thought of it, but Rebecca we said... We got no, them. Get that one, get that one. Ooh, Opal's, that? Opal's having a crazy moment. All right. We've got a quiche Lorraine. We did want crustless, but again, the... Um, dates were very dates short. Rubbish. Yeah. We've got some stolen. Apparently, we are pronouncing it correctly. Yes. Stolen. Yeah. Bites. Get that it's fine. It, this is, it is reality, Mum. This is... We are not... We're not a picture-perfect household. <laughs> um, we're supposed to be. We're on YouTube. <laughs> that's why people like us, because we're relatable. <laughs> so relatable. <laughs> okay, fair enough. And <laughs> um, we got these to try. 
butter Punjabi style butter chicken samosas they look so nice like the the samosa wrapper looks like it's got herbs in it it's part of their new collection range do you know i think i picked up the wrong one no oh no um, we've no. also got the pakoras oh yes and we also bought some malaysian curry puffs didn't yeah. we as well oh, god don't worry oh yeah we need to put them in the freezer oh yes and we got room in the freezer. No. We just managed to close the lid. We also got chicken pakoras because, again, they were the most expensive side of the deal. So we're getting, you know, getting the offers, making those savings. I should say, this is not all for Christmas Day. No. We've got... Um, we've got, we've got it's, we want to eat between yeah. now and Christmas. So we've so got Lauren we've got, and Kerry coming down. Yeah, on, my brother and sister in law on a Boxing Day. Boxing Day. So um, um, and yeah. then we've got tomorrow. We've got Christmas Eve. Mm. It's just it's just it is what it is. It's a festivity, isn't it? This is my mince pie of choice. It is the chocolate and hazelnut mince pies. We have all got our own pack of mince pies. <laughs> it's just nice to have different ones though isn't it and i really like them i also put this in the jolly um it is a pre-made espresso martini cocktail um i just like to have i don't like to have them all the time but i feel like christmas day in the evening that would be quite nice, quite nice thing to have. these are mum's curry puffs now you used to live in singapore mm, yeah Ta explain right everybody um that leave singapore including singaporeans who say emigrated to canada or whatever they um hanker after curry puffs and everybody's always saying have you got the recipe have you got the recipe no you don't and need the recipe no because they're new in marks and spencers they are malaysian but there's a huge malaysian community in singapore so yeah. um i think that's probably it's very why. very global and it's great in singapore you can get so many different varieties of food including cauliflower cheese <laughs> um Need we say any more? Cauliflower cheese. Marks is doing a nice one. They do a nice one. And I love, and I like having a lot of cauliflower cheese. Um, iced coffee. This is the best iced coffee out there. The M&S one. And it's actually pretty affordable for iced coffee. Mm. It's actually, some M&S prices are like cheaper than... We're running um, out of space on the kitchen unit. Out of space. <laughs> That's okay. Cream. Uh, I need this. Cream. For, yeah, but that's for the chocolate roulade. That's okay. Lots mm -hmm. of cream. Raspberry. That's for the chocolate roulade. These are from Morocco. International. Uh, <laughs> we've got black pudding. Again. A request by best Bill. Best black pudding out there. The M&S black pudding. Exceptional. We love the black pudding. It's very spicy. Well, very sp spice. It's stuff. tasty. It's tasty. It's tasty. My favourite bacon. The maple cured streaky bacon the sweet of the bacon with the spiciness of the black pudding it's a flavor combination oh, i didn't see this come in the trolley cheddar cheese yes bill was worried that we might run out of cheese <laughs> And we won't run out not, of cheese. And also, this isn't everything we bought for Christmas because we've been buying... <laughs> Don't tell them that. We've been buying from other places <laughs> too. So embarrassing. So, um, uh, some water biscuits for said cheese. Yeah. And cheese I, does last a I will time. say as well, though, we've got Wookiee Hole cheese for the cheese board, but you can't, like, grate Wookiee Hole cheese. It's, it's so quite, crumbly. Yeah, yeah. So that's really good for, like, cooking. It's nice, isn't um, it? Little, Little tiny potatoes, it's for the brie. Yes, yeah. That's... Little tiny potatoes. Yeah. We're going to do baked brie on Boxing Day. Yeah. Um, we've got some bake at home baguettes. Um, we're going to do little boiled potatoes. Um, we've got. Big bag. Gastro pub custard. I don't know what for, but we just. Uh, I'll tell you why, because. Why did we want it? We want it because when the trifle starts to get a bit like. Oh, you want to add a little extra? Yeah, add a bit more custard, you know, like, oh. I feel like a bit trifle, but there's not enough custard in it. And that's, that's a bit. We also extra. went for the uh, the pina colada cocktail, like mocktail, oh, no. but you can add to it if you want, or you can just have it as a a mocktail. Um, then we've got another one. <laughs> this one is also. Oh god! Oh Becky, I didn't realise we bought all this, but hey, it's Christmas. <laughs> and i am going to put this up before christmas so if you see anything um you'll have a day i think to go and get it i can't do it any sooner my favorite nibbles mm. we just have to and the thing is with nibbles if we don't open them they're still good for the christmas yeah. aren't they so um this is for dad this is a present it's a present 
Look how beautiful the box is. I've loved look. all this designs this year. They are chocolate biscuit batons and pearls. They've got like ganache. It looks like ganache on top of. We'll sneak a couple when he's opened them. Yeah, Dad, to be fair though, Dad always he offers. Does, yeah. He always shares. Always shares, yeah. Share, share. Rather nice. Then this is um, just something that just ended up in the trolley. Oh, a clementine. <laughs> wow, it's the year, the time of year to do it. A clementine frangipan. Mm. So ground almond sponge soaked in clementine orange oh, syrup. God, lovely. Topped with flaked almonds, Ooh. candied orange peel and an ice and drizzle. And it's gluten free because it's made with almond flour. Oh. So it could be a great, an option if oh, you have a gluten. If you've got gluten free in there i'm gluten free but with that anyway these we are very excited about these are sage and onion oh, closer to the camera. baps they just sound and you can a little bit smell them through the bag mm. or so we got eight <laughs> with the view to probably freezing some as well yeah i'm gonna definitely have one on the train when i go to because i'm visiting jp monaco so i'm gonna mm. make a sandwich for the train what's this oh a lemon tart yeah i don't i don't know why i pre-ordered i did say why are you buying the lemon tart well i just saw it's nice to have an alternative that's maybe not so sugary <laughs> so we've got a lemon tart as well with the order we've got some lobster and prawn cocktail oh, starters this is luxury I'm looking forward to those. Yeah. That's for Christmas Day. And then this is something I put in the cart. Uh, hazelnut cream ingots from Lombardi. Italian chocolates are not yeah. to be slept on. <laughs> they to be eaten. Yeah, they to be eaten. Because <laughs> uh, everyone got a Belgian chocolate, Belgian chocolate. But, oh, Italian chocolates are some of the nicest. And guess who spotted them? Rebecca. She went, oh, ma, oh, nice. oh, these look nice. nice. Oh, what do you think? Shall we pop them in the trolley? Pop. Plop. <laughs> and then finally from MS, we've got more to show you from Tesco. Uh, we've got these. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit embarrassed. Uh, Belgian chocolate because we like the. Ex oh. Is that Opal? Who's that? Oh, I thought it was Bill. No, it's not. We got we like the extremely chocolatey biscuits, <laughs> but we've always been curious. We've been Belgian cookie chocolate curious. Because mm. <laughs> uh, um, we also want the tin. The tin. <laughs> We need a, a cake tin because dad doesn't wrap up cakes and then they go off and then they get wasted. Mm. So um, it's, nice it's, it's a deep tin. It? tin. Yeah. it will fit a cake. And it's got a kilo of biscuits. <laughs> so, I think that should be enough. But I will say dad loves a biscuit. And I, I do like a biscuit myself. I can't lie. Mm. Um, I like the occasional chocolate biscuit. We're not gonna, too many. Keep talking, Mum. I'm going to move some stuff onto the dining table. You well, keep entertaining. Well, I'm just going to have a little bit of um, liquid to... A little bit of liquid? I'm so dry, honestly. I know it shouldn't be wine, but it is. <laughs> have some dry white wine <laughs> to, make, to hydrate yourself. That's the, the remains of a bottle, so it would normally be a little bit um, more than that. But anyway, here we go. Cheers. I have got, speaking of cheers, we got a litre of Baileys. Um, I just love a Baileys hot chocolate. I love a Baileys anything. I just like Baileys. <laughs> it's quite nice though, over ice, isn't it? Just, yeah, on the rocks. Mm. Uh, what have we got in here then? Oh, this is... <laughs> Let's start with the Tesco's thing. The... <laughs> Girl's got to have smooth legs have for smooth Christmas. Legs. Um, dreamies for the cats. Pretty cats. Opal, what were you doing in there? She was definitely doing I'm something. Just, I'm just going to have a look. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, go see what she's just done. Oh, look, she's got her nose into the, the bag where the wine is. Oh. I love seasonal Mr. Kipling's. They are fresher than regular ones they're nice aren't they as well they're like you can just yeah and the pop frosty it. ones are the best ones yeah i think you're right I, I like the little cream bit on the top oh, <laughs> so nice it's a tradition as well that we get those yes. each year isn't it and then um ms <laughs> oh, sweet stuff ms was out of um the frangipan mince pies but we did manage to find them at tesco's not many mince pies left anywhere though <sighs> there is going to be a shortage normally there's loads of mince pies left but I don't think there'll be a shortage, shortage, but I think there'll be a shortage of the ones that the, you particularly one, like. And there's a lot of the ones, a lot of like, there was a lot of gluten-free and vegan ones. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I should imagine they're quite nice, I don't know. And then uh, we've tried these in the taste test. These are the spiced rum 
uh, mince pies as well, and we really like them. So we got another. Bo- oh, oh my god! The oh, well, don't let the custard oh, go the on the custard floor. And oh the my mince goodness pie. me! Right. Um, right, are you going to get another bag over, Mum, or you want me to get it? Oh, well, this one's just got some potatoes. <laughs> really interesting stuff. Potatoes, but not the fifteen p ones because you didn't fancy them, did you? No, I get disappointed with the. Oops, I get disappointed with the all rounder ones, ain't they? Because basically they just shove out in any old potato that maybe it's not very good for roast potatoes. Oh. And then also, if you do them boiled, they usually boil to nothing. So yeah, I won't buy. Now, <laughs> I've been drinking Actimel now for about two months and I really do think I benefit from it. I'm not gonna say anymore. <laughs> uh, milk for teas and coffees. Uh, Big cream. Yeah, pouring cream. I think you always need that in a kitchen. You also need this. <laughs> oh, we do like a bit of squirt. And this well. one is the best. It's the best one. And we, then, have, we have got some in the fridge permanently, but I didn't want to run out. And <laughs> <laughs> for the ap- I know, it's only one apocalypse. day. But, you know. <laughs> um, and then we also got some nice juices for Christmas morning. M&S again, their juice was going out of date on Christmas Eve, so... Um, so we went for the this was on offer two for three fifty, which yeah. is actually really good because they're normally three pound each. So mm, we got a tropical juice and a orange with bits. We really like bits. I don't, know. I don't think Bill likes bits. Well, but... he can have the tropical juice. They can't he? Yeah. Or sip it. <laughs> Get the sip out. I love your bits, Bill. And then one more bag, I think. It's not one more sleep. It's one more bag. One more bag. This is a big one. The kitchen, guys, is wild. Um, So we've got some mini naan breads for this evening. Um, Mum doesn't like coriander, though, so we don't get the garlic and coriander, even though I like the garlic and coriander. (laughs) Who paid the bill? (laughs) Bacon bits. Coleslaw. Mum and Dad like coleslaw. I don't Ooh, like coleslaw. That'd be for Boxing Day. Just Boxing shove day. it on the table, bit of veg. Some more pizza blankets. I've just been to the freezer. We've got three, three packets in there. Three? Three frozen of the same one. But I do like them. And they're good. I'll tell you what. They're great being cooked in the air fryer. And they're just nice. Because oh, like, you, can have, you can have pizza blankets just all year round. Um, my friend at work, Dan, he told me to try the sparkling light chef. I've only ever had the still. Um, so you also want to try it as well. So we've got two cans mm-hmm. of the Rubicon lychee sparkling. Thanks to Dan at work for saying... Thank you, Dan. It's, out, it's going to be nice. Out, yeah, otherwise you'll be um, invoiced for the pound. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got jazz apples because... I said to mum, these are the best ones. And they weren't many left. No, they weren't. I think jazz apples are the best apples because they're juicy and they've got a lot of flavour. And they're not too, too sweet. They're like apple mm, They're so They're good. actually described on the front, if you turn it over, I don't know if anybody can see, the, the taste is pear drop in apples, but I think... Pear get... drop sweetness. But you know how pear drops have got like a little bit of... Zingy zang. Yeah, they honestly, make my mouth water. I might even have one now after all this. After all this health is wealth, after all. <laughs> health is wealth. Health is we got wealth. no wealth left. We spent all our money on food. <laughs> Some let hearts. What are these? Romaine hearts. Romaine hearts, they're nice. And to go with that, pork <laughs> bun. <laughs> Mouse and Mowbray, of course. M&S was out. All they had left were these, like, mega... They were huge, weren't they? Huge pork pies. We could have bought a huge one, but we decided not. We just don't... Well, we did get some reduced at Morrison's No, don't night. say nothing about that. <laughs> We How found much was it? 14 pence? 80p for a whole gala pie, like a whole off the deli gala pie. I don't know. I think we're going to try and freeze it, but there's no room now in the freezer, so I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Might go around the neighbours. You like us loads of gala pie? <laughs> we found this, this was like, there wasn't much bougie butter left. And this was one of the options and it was on offer. Um, it just looked really nice. It almost looks like something it's the packaging out of it. Again, it's the packaging. We do love that packaging. And we love bougie butter. Because yeah. you've got to have there is cooking butter and there is eating butter. And that's what I've had to teach JP. Because the butter in France. Oh, oh. French butter. But he likes he's olive oil. Oh, he's right. not he's southern. 
Oh, and I'm like, oh. where's the butter at, babe? <laughs> oh, we're, we're sort of Normandy way, aren't Cooking we? Cooking <laughs> butter. Yeah, the U UK is butter cooking. Because yeah, we're about... a minute. Tesco sell unsalted as well as salted. And today I've had to buy salted. Oh, I didn't have any No, unsalted. no unsalted. And I usually buy unsalted. 15p broccoli. Bargain. They should do this all year round. Um, <laughs> they're, not going to. they're not going to, obviously. 15p carrots. I'm like, can we like buy a freezer to have as our 15p vegetable freezer? Um, 15p parsnips. Don't even like them. <laughs> <laughs> we did buy a 19 pence turnip from um, Morrison's because Dad wanted to go to Morrison's yesterday. Yeah, but why did you buy a turnip? I, never... I don't know. He just it was 19 pence and he wanted to buy it. I had to sign up for a Morrison's Mall card in store <laughs> to get it for 19 pence, and he bought some sprouts as well. It was just over. It was the bargain of the century. We were overwhelmed. Yes. And then the final thing, which every woman <laughs> needs, <laughs> is a cucumber. Large. Large. Extra large. And that's it. I don't know why we ended on this. <laughs> oh, and some, and some bread. Oh, yes. So, yeah, that is... That's it, folks. That's for, it. For it's just 21 minutes of... <laughs> wow. Well, it took us... How long? It must have taken well, us three hours picked, to buy it all, You didn't picked it? me up at 10 to 10. Yeah. And we got back up... Well, we did have a Costa coffee, though. Oh, we did. We had a long letter. We did have a Costa coffee. So, yeah, like... How long have three, hour, three hours. Three hours. Oh, that's not but bad. It was fun. Think, it wasn't yeah. too bad. I think tomorrow is going to be the big day. Mm, probably. Um, but yeah, this was. I don't want to go out tomorrow. Well, it we is, are going out. But not it is shopping. fun to share though what you buy because Dad will come down in a minute and have a peruse. Oh God, he can't wait to come. He's down. so excited to come down, but he didn't want to go on camera because he's in his PJs. <laughs> oh, he's not in his PJs. He was he's getting just, ready. He's, he's getting yeah, he's in his yeah. loungewear. Yes. And he's he's changing from loungewear to daywear. <laughs> <laughs> gonna do with them eh? <laughs> but anyway i think this is the last video before christmas are you sure yeah um, so we've got to wish everyone happy christmas, happy christmas everyone <laughs> and if you want to give me a christmas present you can subscribe <laughs> it is free so yes. it's, a, it's a really good christmas present to give yes. it doesn't cost you anything it's just Not one click I know. Yeah. um don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it We'll keep doing them as long as you enjoy them. It can be our annual tradition. It could be, couldn't it? Um, and yeah, leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you've bought for your Christmas dinner. Uh, yeah, and have you bought something on impulse? Yeah. A bit like we did today. <laughs> oh, shopism. <laughs> you had a list, but the list. Oh, yeah, we did stick to the list, but a few extra bits came in that weren't on the list. Yes, but... You just got to treat yourself. Yeah, right, and if you <laughs> And if you can't do it at Christmas... When can you do when it? When can you do it? You There's know. a spider on my V. <laughs> Ooh, maybe he's got hairy legs. <laughs> on that note, shall we say cheerio? Bye! Hey, that'd be a good, that'd be a good Christmas cracker joke. What was it? The spider on your V. Why was the spider on the V? Oh, that had hairy, hairy legs. legs. It, no, yeah, it's a bad joke. It's That's bad why it should be in a cracker. Have you got any good jokes? Or will you have any good jokes? Who knows? <laughs> anyway, on that, that mum. bombshell... <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you after Christmas. Yeah, take care now. Bye. Bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.